for you today with Dylan Duff. How are you, Dylan? I'm doing great, thank you. That's awesome. You look very handsome. Thank you very much. What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for Best Actor in a Guest Star Role in a Television Series. Oh, that's awesome. What is the show called? Um, it's called Teens 101. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's great. Where can we watch it? Um, so it's not available in many places in Canada at the moment, but it was released on CHCH a while ago, and now it's on Amazon Prime in the States. I'm nominated for my series Ghost Force and a monologue. That's awesome. What is your monologue about? About this little girl. She wants this umbrella, but then um, her mom says, no, you're getting this umbrella. Then in the end, her grandma buys her the umbrella that she wants. <laughs> What are you nominated for? I'm nominated for a movie called Sonic the Hedgehog and a music video um, with like a famous, um, like a famous like a uh, singer uh, with like children dancing with him. His name is Eddie Kenzo and the Sonic Hedgehog. I've been acting uh, in there like for one week. And there's one that I'm not not nominated for. It's the Gingerbread Romance. So I'm not nominated for that, but I'm nominated for also a Shaw Blue Sky commercial. Uh, I'm nominated for three categories. I'm nominated for Best Male Actor in a Musical Performance, Best Ensemble in a Musical Performance, and I don't know, what else? Which is your favorite nomination? Uh, probably the Best Male Actor in a Oh yeah, it's, uh, Best Male Actor in Overall. I was nominated for Best Actress in a Play, ages 12 to 14. Oh, that's great. What is the play called? Um, I was in Romeo and Juliet last summer. <gasps> that's so wonderful. I love that play. It's, it's really great. <laughs> Which character did you play? I played Juliet. That makes sense. Plus, yeah. you look like her, something like that, too. <laughs> yeah. It was lots of fun. That's awesome. Um, best Actor in a Live Play or Performance, 15 to 19. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's cool. Yeah. What is the play called? Um, we did Romeo and Juliet and we did a 70s theme of it so I got nominated for Romeo. I'm nominated under the ensemble for two theater productions The Apple Kingdom and Romeo and Juliet. Um, I'm non nominated for Best Actress in a Musical. Oh wow what is the musical called? Um, I was in The Apple Kingdom. Tell us a bit about that. Um, it was part of the Canmore Summer Theater Festival which was put on by Pine Tree Players and Calgary Theater. And um, it was just a children's afternoon play. I'm nominated for Best Actress in a Musical. Wow, what is the musical called? The Apple Kingdom. Oh, lovely. Is this your first time at the Joys as well? Yeah, it's my first time. I'm super excited. <laughs> Acting and I just, I just, I loved it so much. And then um, all my friends were getting these agents, and I'm like, hey mom, I want one. So then I got an agent, and I just, I really loved it. Um, just keep going because basically the industry is just a series of rejection, occasionally interrupted by work. When you're acting, um, you should like not be shy. You should just like talk it through with your parents before you act it out. Just be yourself, but when the director says do this, just like follow their lead. Also add, your, add bits of you into the character as well and just just go with the flow and go with your gut feeling. That's what I, I do most of the time. You can step into someone else and be someone completely different, which is a really lovely thing. It's like an escape or, yeah, I just think be yourself and like try new things, definitely. Don't be too worried about what you look like on stage because the most fun performer to watch is someone who you can see is having fun. Just don't really worry about what anyone else is thinking. Worry about what you're thinking and what you're proud of because when you're on stage, nothing else in the world matters but being who you are in that moment and what character you want to be. Get out there and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of judgment. It's not... It's not something you can avoid, but it's also a good thing, so. You just have to go for it. Like, you can't hold yourself back. You just have to do it, and it's it's fun in the end. Once you get up there and on stage, it's super fun. If it's something that you love doing, it's life's too short to not try it.